just one more day until we can all get out of here. But before we do that, here's what you need to know. Blizzard All-Stars has been rebranded. The game is now called Heroes of the Storm. The company has asked fans to forget everything they know about the game so far, which sounds like they're starting from scratch. The title has been in production for quite some time and has already seen two previous name changes. Fans can expect to hear more about the in-development title during BlizzCon next month. One of Zynga's co-founders has left the building. No, really, he quit the company. Founding Zynga member Justin Waldron departed the company yesterday after nearly seven years of service. In the beginning, Waldron dropped out of the University of Connecticut to work at Zynga full-time and was lead engineer on the company's first title, Zynga Poker. I've decided it's time to leave Zynga and venture off on my own again, Waldron wrote on his Facebook page. It's been six and a half years since we pushed the button to launch our first game. Each moment since has been magic. Zynga has seen a stream of top executives leave in the past year, including its COO and CTO. But they got Xbox's Don Matrick back in July, so I guess that's a fair trade. If you live in Brazil and you're planning on buying a PlayStation 4, you might want to start saving your pennies. Yesterday, Sony announced the PS4, when it launches in the country on November 29th, will sell for 3,999 Brazilian currency, which is approximately 1,852 USD. Sony's suggested retail price for PS4 games is also high. $83. Sony told us that the high price tag can be blamed on importation taxes imposed by the local Brazilian government. I was gonna write a joke about that, but you know what? That blows. I'm sorry, Brazil. And that's it. Have a good Friday, Polynauts. Work hard, or don't work at all. Not my problem. <laughs>